bad news. The weather's been pants. And because of that weather, it's going to be a bit of a short video and a bit bitty, to be honest. So I apologise for that. Um, yeah, feel free to unsubscribe. Yeah, going to include a couple of extra bits this week. A um, couple of you have asked questions about the app that I mentioned on the first video, which was for logging your koi. So um, I'll do a little bit about that. I'll do a couple of screenshots and a screen video for that one. And um, yeah, that's about it really. But uh, yeah, let's say I'll show you what I've done, show you what we still got to do. And um, it's just starting to rain again as I video this. You can see the sky in the background, looking lovely. Bit of a hold up because uh, I dug the pond. And now it's dug, I'm looking at it and my aim was always to go for around 15,000 litres and I'm not quite there. Time you take into consideration the 215 odd, 210, 215 mil on the blocks, time you bring that in, um, it's surprising how it reduces the actual size of the pond. Um, I think I'm up at about 13,000 litres, 12,800 litres without the filter. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, tomorrow evening when the weather's a bit nicer and it's quite late now, it's about half six I think, and just got in from work, but I'm actually going to take the pond one more block that way, so 0.45 or 450 mil, going to take it out a bit further. Um, I've been left with more space here than I thought because this is going to be the filter house. Um, and I thought this actual distance between the edge of the pond and here, and in particular here and here where our stairs are, as the dog has just nicely showed, um, was gonna be tighter, but it's not. I've actually got a bit more room to go, go a bit further. And I think after building that one, I think I would really, really, really kick myself if it wasn't the size that I wanted. And um, spending a fair bit of money on this one, so I don't really wanna be digging it again next year. So yeah, so. Uh, Without further ado, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, feel free to come and cut my grass. Ciao. Here we go for those that are interested. This is called the NVN app. Just download it from the Apple Store. Um, basically an app to rather than keep them on Excel or on paper. It uh, allows you to upload photos and just keep a log of your koi and their sizes also has various other features um, feeding recommendations medication recommendations uh, has a library of documents that show you all the different koi types colors varieties scale types etc also has just coming up now uh, a load of documents um, information and helpful guides uh, but really what we had it for was just for the kids so we can actually upload photos, we could monitor the growth of our koi and um, just have some pretty photos. So yeah, there it is. Sound probably won't be so good because we've got the fountain in the background. A couple of people asked how I'm getting on with the 100 micron. Uh, at the moment, I'm around two to three days between cleaning, which um, is a bit of a pain to be honest. I was hoping it'd go a bit longer and it was with the 200 micron. Um, but yeah, it seems to be doing its job and it's fairly simple to clean. Now, that's about two days worth there at the moment. But, uh, it was still functioning, it hadn't stopped working, so uh, I could have left it probably another couple of days, but yeah, the fines and that, that's taken out down to your sort of grains of sand. And yeah, that's no, pretty, pretty tough for that if I use my finger for scale. You can see the little bits of crap that's taken out. So uh, yeah, happy, happy. Just give it a hose off and uh, chuck it back in. While it hammers down outside, I thought I'd just have a quick tot up of the old numbers to see what's left to spend. Golly. Evening, ladies and gentlemen. You catch me just measuring a good eight inches. Yeah, I don't know what you lot were thinking, but uh, shame on you. So all I'm doing is uh, not much going on. I've just finished work and what I noticed, young lady, what I noticed was uh, because we've now excavated in front of the decking area, underneath that is the old concrete patio that we built over. So uh, what's happening is a lot of the water is then travelling through the patio and then working its way down to here. Had a sort of partial collapse there and uh, after digging that hole, I don't really want to keep digging it. 
So I've just dug a French drain along the back and I'm actually going to pull my the parameters of the pond in ever so slightly. So I've pulled that in about 300 mil and then that just allows for the water to go down the back of the block work. And then what I'll do is I'll backfill in uh, P Beach or 20 mil, she uh, 20 mil beach and a bit of terrain and just make sure that, that water can get away. But yeah, piles of dirt everywhere still. The skip did arrive, that's full up. And obviously my bottom drain arrived, so I'm just trying to get this uh, the base of this level now so I can dig. What I'm going to do is dig a little pit in the middle um, just to put three inch of concrete just to get my bottom drain sat on. And uh, the good news, I was going to go drum. I was tempted, very, very tempted, but um, a guy on one of the forums actually I picked up a Nexus 320. So I was only used for, I think he said four months on a quarantine tank. So the price I couldn't turn it down and then if I need to I've got my, uh, my DIY sieve anyway running 100 micron and that's running I've got that up to between three days now for cleans um, but yeah it's, uh, it's probably going to be longer than the normal week for an update because I a things are moving a bit slowly now because of work it's been very busy but um, I've had a couple of problems with the existing pond just trying to get to the bottom of it I've done parameter checks I've done um, microscope checks from scrapes and uh, got a lot of flashing going on but uh, yeah gonna have to uh, look into that a bit further but yeah that's it so yeah that's the hole I'm just gonna double check the pegs and then this weekend it's uh, what day is it Eve? Wednesday Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday. so uh, do a bit of titivating around for the rest of the week but yeah so that's the hole bottom drain in at the weekend go and pick the Nexus up from a couple of hours away, so four hour round trip. Get a nice bit of brekkie, won't we, on the way out. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's moving pretty slowly, so it's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a wait. But yeah, I've got to allow 200 mil, for a few Americans, eight inches of, uh, of concrete to go in the bottom with uh, single layer steel mesh. Um, and then a little bit of steel over the bottom drain pipe work. And then the actual bottom drain will be sat on its own little pad just to make sure. So, yeah, just going to go around. I've ordered some uh, six by two just to act as a tamping rail and then float finish. Evening, everyone. So it's Tuesday after work. Done absolutely feckle on the pond. We've had nothing but shit weather. So finally, we've got a bit of a break. So I've quickly rushed out here. I've got some timber work up. Got the first bit of stone in. As I said last time, we've a um, bit of a problem with water coming off of the, uh, the decked area there. So there's a little French drain behind there. We've actually had a more of a collapse. So I'll have to clean that out. But yeah, it's draining well, even after all that heavy rain and hailstone. Uh, only problem is, got timber work in. And uh, yeah, very different to the levels that I thought it was. Clearly my eyes don't work, but, uh, so that's resulted in a, I've just removed the last pile and now here we are with another pile, ready to go back out to the skip. But it's good news, we're level all the way round. What I will say with today's timber is be very careful, that was level, that was level, that was level, could not get that Beep. bastard level and it was simply down to a twist and a cut in the wood that was poor. So I measured that end, it was one, four, five. Measured that end, one, four, five. When I measured in the wind, uh, in the middle, the timber obviously when it's come through the mill or whether it's expanded with the, um, the pressure treating is uh, it's about 150, 155 I think it was. So obviously putting the level in the middle, it was then throwing it out in either direction, which is uh, it's brilliant, but as soon as that's where my bottom drain's gonna go. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? Having water that goes to either end of the pond of all the Beep. shit that don't go to the middle. But uh, yeah, so now, just for Stephen Gates, I'm gonna finally get on with my bottom drain. So I've got a couple more pegs just to put in part and car, just so I can dig the embankment out now. I know exactly what I've got. So I need to work out what centre for the bottom drain. I've only got a single one going in, so that'll literally be taken cross-reference from either side obviously where they meet cross sorry 
pointing the wrong direction across where they meet in the middle. That's obviously where my bottom drain is going to go. So. Starting to look like a tidier hole. I'm actually just robbing tight one from uh, from the driveway. I've allowed, um, we got eight inches for the Americans or 200 mil for the sensible among us. Um, so that's actually up at the moment, that level. So I've allowed for a bit of tight one. Don't need it, it's sandy clay, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, in terms of CBR, it's, it's, it's up there, but uh, yeah, I just want something to make it, if it does rain again, it just, uh, it's less boggy to walk around on. But uh, yeah, get the bottom drain in. And then I think concrete is booked for, it's Tuesday night now, so it's booked for, is it Saturday coming? No, we're doing some fencing Saturday coming. I think it's the following Saturday, concrete's due. So I want to have all the bottom drain and everything in. I want to have all this leveled and tidied. The Nexus is obviously now through the gate, um, despite, I mean, it must have been the wife that measured it. It couldn't have been me. But, uh, it's all good now, don't need to worry, but yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Right, just a little tip for you. The phone is currently wedged against a rock, which you can see. <laughs> so, oh, apologies if this isn't super clear, but if, let's get out of focusing. If you're using string lines, like I just was, was just then for finding the center point for my bottom drain, get my words out rather than tying knots all over the place which a buggers up a string line b is a pain in the ass to get undone and c well, i don't know if there is a c but i'll let you guys think of that if you want but yeah so all you're going to do is you're going to loop around a few times all right and what you're going to do is you're going to take this one and you're going to twist it like that twist okay over the top and then pull tight Okay, all right, that's now nice and taut. And then when it comes to getting it undone, it's literally a case of just loosen it off, give it a wiggle, and off she comes. Here we go. That's it for another night, look. Sun setting in the background, lovely. Not bad when it was meant to rain. So, like I say, Tuesday night. Did I just say Thursday night, we? I say Tuesday night, I tell them, I'm absolutely knackered. I completely lost the plot, but we're yeah. done for tonight. Little pit for the bottom drain, just to give it a little bit of concrete footing. Ted! Ted likes drinking out of it, which is uh, quite convenient. All the boardings in, obviously, around the edge. We just cut out, we dug out for the bottom drain. So tomorrow, we get the pipe working, get it glued up. We get a bit of rain now, and it is time to come over black, so we want to glue her up and it rains. But yeah, so that's all in. It's actually starting to look like a pond. Ted's just going to show you where the bottom drain's going to go. So, yeah, Nick's just... Oh, wait, he's got my pencil. Oi, Ted, come back. Ted, that's my pencil. Wait. All right, I'm going to go. I've got to get that back. I struggle to keep hold of pencils as it is. Ciao for now. Ted, say bye-bye. Evie, say bye. 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 Ted, yeah. later. So what we're doing now is to give it a bit of extra support um, it is clay underneath so we've gone down four or five inches um, bedding that on some i'll say homemade concrete so we just get the level in there so what we'll do is we'll just find our level i will go in ever so slightly low because i want to chamfer in um, for the bottom drain anyway Good news, finally putting that bottom drain in. The bad news, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm not gonna be able to film a lot because the wind is a howling. It's, uh, we've got 50, 60 mile an hour gusts here. So I'm guessing coming into British summer, they just wanted that to go with the hailstones. We've had the bit of snow, we've had the heavy rain, we've had the flooding we've had. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get it done. So I've uh, got my pipe and everything ready. Drain fixed in yesterday, just fixed in place to give it a bit of support. Sitting on a, a slab, as we mentioned, we've got our easy bend 90 degree bend. Um, we want it as a gradual, easy. We don't want any uh, sharp turns or anything, we don't want to be gathering crap. And obviously, uh, it's the big boy, it's the little boy. Uh, I'm probably closer to this one, 
Uh, and then obviously we've got our pipe. Don't need to worry about any of the attachments for the air at the moment. Um, yesterday we actually dug the pond another half a metre in length. Um, as I said, I weren't overly happy with uh, the amount of leakage that I've managed to get, but uh, we've gone an extra half a metre in length, so it gives me uh, over a block. And that actually, surprisingly, at 1.45, 1.5 deep, that equates to, I think it was about 1,800 litres. So it's, uh, it's quite shocking what a difference it makes. And the pond, just overall, excuse the wind, the pond overall, it just looks a bit more rectangular now. So I'm happy with that. All the base is ready for concrete in Saturday. Um, we got the steel mesh on order. Concrete with fibres is on order. I got blocks, cement, sand turning up next week as well. The skip's pissed off, which is good because I'm sick and tired of looking at the mud that we had to haul out. Oh, and there's a, a national a nationwide shortage on uh, cement, which is helpful. So, in terms of not wishing to teach anyone to suck eggs or anything, but basically just cutting this with a, a fine tooth handsaw. And then what we'll do is we'll file the edges and give them a sand up with a, a real light grit. And uh, the other thing, be sure of your measurements. So I've now got three meters of uh, four inch pressure pipe. So anyone down in the southeast that needs a bit of pressure pipe, be sure to hit me up, yeah? Because um, there's an idiot this side that can't measure properly that's apparently got some in his garden. But yeah, crack on. As I said, you can see where that one's freshly sawn, if I can get it to focus, you can see all the, uh, the old crystal burrs on there, so uh, give them a good sand. A file if you need to, but a good uh, 220 grit, 150 grit, removes them nicely and doesn't cause too much scoring, um, but could lead to possible leaks. Just giving the old girl a good clean out before we insert it. Don't be like a dirty hole. So yeah, just making sure you get right back in there against the old flange. Get the good flange a, a good work to get all that dirt out. Make sure we get a nice clean. I'm just using alcohol wipes. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it uh, seems to be removing the dirt nicely. Who are her, missus? So another top tip when you're cutting this pressure pipe is uh, it's not hard to cut, but it's quite fiddly. So obviously you don't want to be going out spending lots of money on saw horses and God knows what else. So you want to find the cheapest thing you can that you can rest that pipe on steady. Because what you don't want, I mean, this is very, very serious. What you don't want is a wonky cut. So you want something stable, something cheap, and something that's not going to moan. You all right down there, Eve? Yeah. Sure? How much longer are you going to be? It's as long as it takes, son, as long as it takes. <sighs> Gotta love a good mix. So what we're doing now is just not going some concrete. Just to support that bend and make sure there's no movement. We'll run a bit of concrete through here. We'll cut the splodges of concrete just along the pipe. Just to make sure, obviously, when we uh, do the main concrete next weekend, there's going to be no lift, obviously, we'll fill that as well. So got pipe in level, we've got the air feed running next to it, but yeah that's nice and level. The glue was an absolute shit bag. I think it's uh, 725 wet or dry or wet and dry but it just goes off so quick so probably a job for two people really but it can be done on one but it's always better in twos isn't it. There we go. So the sun's, our well, sun's pretty much going now. It's about half eight, I think. Finally got there, so the bottom drain's in level. Got our concrete, started to build the ground back up. So then that'll obviously have a, once that's compacted, that'll have time on. And then, uh, and then the concrete, and then after that, the filter shed or filter house, whatever you want to call it, will be built off of that. So. Still gets delivered Wednesday next week, and then uh, yeah, concrete, and we can finally get on. So, so that's it. I'm knackered. It's been a long day. I've got to work tomorrow, so I'm going to go indoors, have myself a bowl of cereal, and then I'm going to bed. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.
I'll uh, look forward to seeing you next time and hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you soon. Ciao.